What's going on guys? My name's Adoram and welcome back to another video. So anyway, literally like right after I had finished uploading the video from earlier today, Gemini Jets uh, went ahead and dropped the releases for July. Or I think it's July, it might be August, I honestly don't know. But whatever month is coming up. <laughs> They drop those releases. They drop new releases and they are really good. I'm really excited. So we are gonna go ahead and go over them. They are all really good. There's only one mediocre one, which is saying something. There aren't any bad ones. So anyway, I'm just going on rambling here. Let's go ahead and get straight into the releases. All right, so first up here, we have an Aerofloat A350-900 in the new livery. So anyway, this does look pretty nice. Obviously, it does not fly into any airports that I'm, I make, so we'll not be buying it, but it is a pretty nice looking model. All right, this one's really exciting. Next here, we have an American Airlines 787-8 in the new livery. It does look like it has a Wi-Fi box and those and fins and stuff so looks like an amazing model we'll most likely be picking this one up but yeah it does look absolutely amazing all right next here we have a bamboo airlines i've really never heard of them until gemini jet started releasing models of them 787-9 uh once again really nice model just will not be picking this one up because obviously it does not fly into any airports i have all right, next here we have a British Airways 787-10. Does look amazing, obviously does not fly into any of my airports, but this one I might just pick up because I have how nice it looks. And I, the only BA plane I have is the Concorde. All right, next here we have another model I will most likely be picking up, and this is a Delta A321 in just the standard livery. Love getting models like this, and Gemini Jets has done really well with models like that during this re these releases. So once again, looks amazing. We'll most likely be picking it up. All right, next here we have an interesting one. This is the Gulf Air 787-9 in the 70th anniversary retro livery. Looks interesting once again, and this is the only mediocre model on this list. All right, next here, once again, we do have a, another model in just the company's plain livery. It's a Lufthansa A350-900. Does look really nice. Don't need it for any of my airport or soon-to-be airports, um, but does look nice, so might consider just picking that one up. All right, next here, we have another really nice one. This is the Polar Air Cargo 747-8F in the operational doors open slash closed configuration. Uh, been looking for an excuse to get a 747-8, and this is a really nice model, so I might just get this one. All right, second to last here, we have an SAS Airbus A320 Neo in their amazing new livery. Does look really nice. Obviously won't be getting it because can't fly to any of my airports, but nice looking model. All right, and finally here we have the star of the show, the new livery United uh, 767-300ER. Obviously, I'm 100% going to get this. I buy every new livery United Gemini Jets releases because I just love their new livery so much. An amazing model, the star of the releases. I'm sure this one's gonna sell out fast, but does look like an amazing model. Can't wait to get my hands on it. So anyway, everyone, if you did enjoy the video, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, and if you have time, leave a comment down below telling me your thoughts on these new releases. I think they're really great, but that's my opinion. Tell me yours. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you later. Goodbye.